Did you know the Unite and Subtract command can be very useful when editing geometry? Here's how to use them. I'll use this kitchen to demonstrate Unite. I'll start by removing the seams and then I'll add an overhang to this side. I'll have to move the parts back together in order to remove the seams. When I do so, I'll move them accurately using endpoint snaps so they connect perfectly. So now I can use Unite to remove the seams. I'll find Unite on the Edit tab. And when we choose it, we're prompted to select Overlapping Geometries. In this case, we have Perfectly Touching Geometries, which is also acceptable. So I'll select all three of my parts and then finish so that Unite can rejoin the shapes which removes the seams. Next, I'll add an overhang to this side. I can either draw a rectangle or it's much easier to use the backsplash command on one of the Park Industries toolbars. This is the easiest method to get a rectangle the exact length of the existing countertop. And I'll specify 8 inch height, which will be its width. Its length coming from the edge that I select as prompted. Now I'll move my new rectangle so it is perfectly touching the other, and then I can use Unite from the Edit tab to unite or join them together. And there we were able to add in an 8 inch overhang. Subtract can also come in very handy. I find it very useful when inserting a farm sink, which we'll demonstrate in this video. First, we have to remove the existing sink. But before I do, I'm going to mark it with a line so I know its center line. I'll draw the line from the center of the middle faucet hole, perpendicular to the front edge. And after deleting my existing sink and faucet holes, I can insert my farm sink by going to the Home tab and then choosing Insert, selecting my farm sink, and then Open. As you can see, I saved this farm sink with the 00, zero and or insertion point so that it can be set directly on the edge of the countertop, which I'll do using my intersection snap. With the sink in place, I can use Subtract, which I'll find on the Edit tab right next to Unite. When selected, I am prompted to select the geometries to subtract two. In this case, the sink. And then when I finish, I'm prompted to select the geometries to subtract from. In this case, the countertop. And when I finish, the sink is subtracted from the countertop. I'll complete it by deleting the sink and the reference lines to be left with only the countertop with the sink subtracted out. Subtract works well with any shape that is either touching or overlapping another part. I'll use subtract to subtract a notch out of the right side of my countertop. First I'll draw the object I want to subtract, in this case a 2x6 rectangle. And then I'll move it into position, and then I'll choose subtract. I want to subtract to the rectangle from the countertop. And after I finish, I can delete the rectangle to be left with the top with the rectangle subtracted out. Thank you for watching. Now you know what I know. One more thing. Did you know that we have 
hundreds of resources available on our website for machine training and service. To find them, go to parkindustries.com. Thank you for choosing Park Industries.